straight. Oh. Oh. Sorry about that. So, let's get right to the video, shall we? Welcome to Parallel Channel. I'm your host, Kelly. Okay. So, first, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, this is very interesting. Some maps that I found on Vox that uh, illustrate the food consumption in America. Uh, mostly with fast food, but with all types of food. Okay, so just get to some of these maps real quick that are interesting. Uh, I wasn't going to include this one because there's 40 of these. But uh, I thought I'd show this real quick. This is like uh, farms. So farms decrease and farm increase. And you can see like this Midwest area. The red represents farm loss. Uh, so a lot of farms lost. And I guess that's mainly consolidation from industry. And uh, they seem to have consolidated though and like other places around that. So interesting. And now moving on. Farm output obviously is growing because the number are, is decreasing. So more mega industrial farms. Um, okay people money making from crops and livestock okay this right here is the difference between crops and livestock and so the darker the red is the more like the livestock uh and then green is more the crop so like see california they got uh, they make money from a lot of crops right here and a lot of livestock here see big uh, center here is a little more livestock considerably more in these regions then crop and then right here following the missouri uh mississippi river you got life or you've got uh, crops around that and of course in florida you got a lot of citrus crops on. so that's kind of cool i guess that's like pretty obvious but it's kind of cool to see it um which crops are harvested where and this is going to be the same thing obviously the where you saw the green before you're going to see a lot of, of, of crops like nuts wheat honey stuff like that i mean uh, not honey, but wheat and stuff. Okay. Uh, animals, cows are everywhere. Um, and you can see in what your region is around here, we got a lot of chickens and this is like Tyson country right here. And, uh, as you see up here around the lakes, you got more pigs crazy crazy interesting okay now let's keep going here real quick now this is very interesting you can see this on 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 box i'm skipping through some of these uh, okay this is cool this right here is shows um photosynthesis occurring over a season and it was a really the big bright highlight is like the corn and soy season at the at harvest it's like boom like mega amounts of photosynthesis and which is uh you know what gets changes the carbon monoxide into oxygen or you know something like that carbon dioxide carbon dioxide. okay uh gmo labeling as you can see the green has little, if no, laws about labeling. Wow. And it's actually the other way around. So look at this. Isn't this inter interesting? We have no labeling laws, and Russia has mandatory <laughs> labeling. So I just thought that was the opposite upon the first glance. And, um, what you would think would your your first insight would be but no so it's like that's that's extremely interesting and i i don't know i think that might have changed now a little bit this is uh, maybe outdated because this is done i think maybe five or ten years ago but pretty much things are going to be the same total meat consumption you can see real quick the darker are, are the uh, it's cardiogram to to uh, show which country so the colors don't have anything to do with it except for the country so which the, the size of the country so look at China 
amazing amounts of meat consumption, whereas Africa, very little port size and so forth. And the uh, United States is fairly big for its size, as you'd expect. Uh, okay, and your consumption per capita, of course, U.S. is going to be at the very top. And I guess they like the they like their meat in Aussie. It's obvious. And the Bobby. I wonder if they're considering seafood as meat. I, I, that would be interesting to know. Okay. So we'll get to some more interesting stuff. Food stamps. Let's see who's on food stamps. What's well, got to be all the um, all the blue states, right? Because uh, all the red state people talk about. Uh, nobody should be on food stamps. So let's see. Tennessee. Oh, well, I'm not sure this is an outcast. Mississippi. Oh, well, maybe a couple of outliers there. Louisiana. Oh, oh, don't these people vote to vote out of food stamps and food health programs? Missouri, Arkansas, Kentucky. Wow. Okay. The, to be fair, New Mexico, Oregon are also at the top of the list. So funny. Okay, OBC over time. Check this out. This is just since 1995 or 85. And it's like less than 10% in 85 were obese. And then it just bam. And as you see, the the darker, the red, the more obese as time goes on. This goes to 2020. And that's crazy. We just all got super fat people are still starving to death but we all got super fat okay da, da, da. obesity and energy intake is this crazy so energy intake goes down and obesity goes up and foods uh where the calories are coming from grains Fats and oils. That's the stuff they put in. Probably the junk food. So that's it's very pretty. Very new plate. Uh, let's go here. Who barbecues best? Okay, here we go. So I'm vegetarian now, but oh my god, Missouri does it right. Mm -mm. And uh, there's some good uh, there's some good meat, vegetarian meat alternatives. It tastes really like like meat, and uh, barbecue's still good. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna go with Missouri here. But Texas is definitely the king of barbecue. And here's this is interesting interesting pizza chains. Which uh, area is dominated by which pizza chain? And if you see the red overall, that's Pizza Hut. So Pizza Hut is dominates i guess the widest geographical area and then you get into localities and uh it changes up like papa john's is popular through here um domino's popular throughout the on the east coast and some of these college towns florida so okay interesting okay and that about sums up the maps as we were saying um Let's, uh, this is definitely what I wanted to show you though. Okay, so here's the most, this is like the most popular right now, but this is the most popular that actually came out and was created, started, originated in this state. So as you can see, uh, claim your claim your fast food, please. Um, some others. Uh, Waffle House, Waffle House. That's where Waffle House is concentrated. <laughs> Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. Pretty much at a glance, you know what that represents. And now, where can you drink on the street? Not important. Um, bar versus grocery store. I got a lot of bars up here by the Great Lakes. I thought that was weird. Um, beer versus wine. So we get more wine on the, on the coasts. Florida and more beer right in the center here. My favorite beer. 
This might have changed by now. Uh, pop versus soda. I was born in the South, so I always call it soda. And that's what we do, we call it soda. And, uh, I mean, Coke, actually, people in the South call it Coke. And... Uh, and I agree. and then also on the East Coast and the cities they seem to call in the coast they call it soda. So I was a I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida, so I was a Coke soda interchangeable Coke. Come get me a Coke and you want a soda? So yeah. And as we go on, the rise of soft drinks, boom, they started to actually decline. And then they all coveted and all powerful. Red Bull dominates. Um, okay, so there you go. I thought that was interesting. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for your time. Tune in again if you want to drink some gin.